Hi everyone, I've come today to share my Chevy Birdie altered book. Uh, the papers are from Ephemeris Vintage Garden. Um, I was inspired to put a little bit of lace on the corner here. Tracy Main did a beautiful journal and she put some lace on and I fell in love with it. So the neighbour had gifted me this a while ago so I thought I'd get it out and use it. It's got roses in the pattern and there's uh, roses in the papers in here so that's what I did. Um, Victorian velvet on the seam binding ribbons. I love that colour. There we go. Uh, just my tea dye paper with the doily stained on this side and the first paper from the kit. Um, I've tried an altered clip this time to see how it went and I thoroughly enjoyed the process so there's a few in this one. My tea dye paper, made a large pocket here. I just kept my tags plain this time, I just thought it looked nice with the roses and the birds and didn't want to overdo it. Done some stenciling up here on the top. Some little birds on the branches, just to break up the uh, tea dye paper. And there's two of the tags out of the collection. On this side I've got one of my Martha Stewart doilies I make, with the tag, and the altar clip. And this comes off so you can write on the whole page and then just cover it up if you want. On this side I've cut into the rows and made a pocket. This always happens when I try and do it upside down. Lovely page from the collection. I've just done a half side belly band. I didn't want to cover any of the bird up. Oh, and on that side, sorry, there was a pocket. A little side one and I've stenciled on the top of the card in there. It goes through to that side as well. And you can write on this one. On this side I've got a tuck spot and I made the tuck spot out of this wee envelope. And it's one of the belly bands from the collection. And slide nicely in there and the tuck spot behind. Uh, one of my side pockets here. I did put a bird on that one, I couldn't resist. And another one on that one. You can write on the bottom if you want to. Have a double page with the um, doily standing on the tee, dyed paper, and stenciling on the top. There's lots of room in this one to um, journal on. I quite like just having plain pages every now and then. Um, I've made an envelope here out of a lovely old sheet of music and another altered clip. This one I've just made a tiny wee pocket just to hold the one tag. A lovely doily impression. Two tags in this last page. They both just slide in there. I've used my vintage photo all around the edges of the papers as well. The tuck spot and the doily will come up so you can write behind it. A stenciling on the top of the page. Places to journal. Another altered clip, I got a bit carried away. I quite enjoyed doing it. And then I've just cut the top of the envelope out of the paper. Very nice paper collection, this one. And this is a, a double tuck spot under the banner and then under the doily as well. Two pages. This one I've made a double pocket out of the page. And then just slide in there. And the last page. With that altered paper clip and some nice staining effect.
That's my journal. I had a great time making it. With lovely colours and roses and birds. Everything I love. Thank you very much for watching.